my sisters and I own 450 acre farm. About 100 acres of that right now is in uh, conservation practices, CRP and other types of programs. We were lucky enough to grow up on this farm. This property was originally farmed by our paternal grandparents. Growing up here, knowing that our grandparents worked on this land, sometimes they think about the blood, sweat, and tears that our ancestors put into this and the importance of keeping that legacy going. Our parents really instilled in us a respect for the land and nature and this sense of um, interdependence and taking care of, of the land and stewardship, which has prompted us to be involved in some of these pollinator programs. Pollinators and beneficial insects are important to agriculture for two reasons. The pollinators are pollinating the crops in many cases. They're also pollinating a lot of the wildflowers that are around the fields. And the beneficial insects will help keep the other pest insect populations down. Our first pollinator field started in 2014. At that time, our renter told us that this property was wet and it was kind of hard for his big equipment to turn around in. So he suggested a pollinator habitat. And our oldest brother was very excited about getting the seed for that and researching all of this. And then he died suddenly. We decided to go ahead and plant it in the spring of 2015. And we named it Jack's Field and we've watched it flourish. It's been such a source of joy for us to come out here and commune with Jack, but also see some of the progress. Its beauty and its symbolic meaning to us really encouraged us to go further. When we had an opportunity to do that again, we wanted to. The Rusty Patch Bumblebee Habitat Restoration has been a success because there's been so much enthusiasm around the Rusty Patch Bumblebee. There's so many people Landowners, farmers, they really want to get involved in this program and they really want to do the right thing for the environment. More often than not, they're using the land that they're not using for farming. So why not put it into pollinator habitat? It feels really good to be a part of this process and knowing that we have an impact. Even small changes that we can implement can have uh, some pretty big impact environmentally. This project was a win-win in every aspect. This is a joyous collaboration. We've gained so much from this process and I think it's made us more connected to the land. Seeing what we see, listening to the buzz of the, the bees and all the other insects, seeing more birds, knowing that there's so much life happening on top of the soil, but also knowing that we're serving the microorganisms and nourishing them underground, helping with filtration, it's really been a big return for our input and I would encourage people to do it. I keep thinking about my parents and wanting to honor them for their teachings and their value of learning new things and education and also taking care of the earth. And it feels really good to be able to um, do some projects like this that honor that.